2NUR FM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. Look, uh, this week we're, everybody's going to be turning off from their solar power. They're not going to be reaching for solar, uh, uh, you know, spending the money on that because they'll be running around with butterfly nets catching butterflies because that's where the future is in this, isn't it? Well, not quite, but uh, you're on the right track in terms wrong of again, wrong uh, again. identifying the butterflies because I mean, what they're trying to do with solar panels is to squeeze every extra bit a little bit out of them and and one of the problems with solar panels is that they reflect light and they absorb light but in the same way that if you stand in front of a shop window you can see your reflection especially it's dark on the other side solar panels do the same thing some of that light gets reflected now they could be more efficient if it didn't escape so how do you stop it well what the scientists have done and i've got to say this is not the first time they've looked to nature and and there are butterflies out there which have black wings incredibly black wings, which means they're really good absorbers. Now, the other thing that scientists have found is that the colours of butterflies and uh, and similar animals is not due to the colour of chemicals in there. It's actually the structure. So if you, if you sort of chopped up a, a blue butterfly wing, it wouldn't have any blue dye in it. It's actually the structure. So these black these black butterflies don't have black wings. They actually have a structure on the top which really well absorbs it. And they're very small holes, so small you can't see with them a microscope, you, not a normal microscope. You've got to go to a very high-powered microscope. And you find it's got little holes. They're, they're um, sub-microscopic. Uh, they're a range of sizes, a random range of sizes, a random range of p- positions. And what that does is it stops this reflection. So it, more of the radiation gets ab- absorbed into the wing. And in the case of the butterfly, that makes them black. But in the case of solar panels, it would get just a little bit more energy in there and, and boost the efficiency of the solar cells. Incredible to think that it's happening at such a micro level, isn't it? They're so little tiny, but you know, we've been able to have a dig around and find out there's all this extraordinary stuff happening. Yes. In fact, a long time back when you know, they started looking at anti-reflective coatings for windows, they would make films which were, which were very thin, but they were the size of the wavelength of light. And they were very flat. And they'd make you know, as flat as they could and you know, polish lenses for binoculars and cameras and all of these things telescopes they had these very smooth uh, films but we've, we're finding that nature has taken another route and so whether it's to produce iridescent colors in in butterfly wings whether it's to produce very black surfaces they've actually got incredibly fine structure now you wonder how this happens it happens of course randomly and and you know this by darwin selection the the ones that have the right uh, right structure and the right properties survive but it means that uh, nature has taken a route whereby it's come up with a very efficient way of doing this doesn't require particular chemicals because you know you mightn't find that in a particular region this is just a structure and, and it's intriguing that now scientists are using this knowledge to make simpler collectors solar collectors and reflective coatings and uh, some again some great real world applications when it comes to the solar that we're which is the way of the future in terms of energy anyway yes mm. yes and, and the the the, the uh, effect is, is very strong and they can actually um, increase uh, decrease the the reflection by uh, an order of magnitude and, and all of that just goes into you into a useful energy rather than being reflected back. So is it a bit early to call this discovery the butterfly effect? <laughs> no? I think that's been taken. It's been taken. And yes, it might, it might sort of get people confused about putting a <laughs> solar panel on their roof and causing a cyclone in North America. <laughs> it might. It might. Well, let's see. We're power, wind power, the power of solar. <laughs> I don't know. John, you got a talk coming up in the next couple of days. You want to just let us know about that quickly? Yes. Uh, tomorrow night I'm going to uh, give a talk to the, uh, the Hunter Pie group who are uh, meeting at East Maitland Library at, uh, at five o'clock. I'll be talking about the light fantastic in space. In other words, how light and space travel and, and asteroids and so forth are all interlinked and uh, there, there'll be an interesting group there. Oh, well, there you go. You are all about out and all over the place, uh, bringing the world of maths and science uh, to us. Thank you, John, for doing that this week with us. Thank you, Mark. At 2NURFM 103.7.